Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've not uploaded for a little while as I've had no voice to really film or been motivated to upload but today I want to talk to you about Greta Thun Thunberg from Sweden and she is a 16 year old autistic climate change advocate and she is on the autistic spectrum like myself and I will apologise for the sore throat in this video but I need to get this video done it's important to me and my views on Greta as a person as well as my autistic view towards somebody else on the autistic spectrum so my views on Greta Thunberg is that she doesn't speak for all autistic people and I feel that the autistic community are giving her too high praises. I know what she's doing she feels is a good thing and she's passionate and she's educated or knows a little bit on climate change and seems to know quite a lot on what she's speaking about. But at the same time, it's very, very dangerous when you start assuming that you speak for the whole autistic community because you don't. She is one autistic person. I'm one autistic person who speaks for myself I never ever say I speak for the autistic community because that's damaging and wrong and not the right thing to do my thoughts on Greta is that she is very very young she's very very naive she is very not aware of how this climate change stuff affects the planet I don't really think she's done much research I think this has all been scripted and I think it's been forced to her and given to her to read I don't think she's had that much knowledge to gain this much attention. And I believe what she's doing, she thinks is a good thing. And if so, well done to her. And I hope she does continue to do what she's doing. But as someone with the autism spectrum, again, we are naive. We are vulnerable. We are people who need to have constant support, and reassurance. I think she is relying on people to do that for her. And going into the politics situation isn't a clever move especially with someone with autism who can get overloaded and overwhelmed and sensory overwhelmed and this information must be absolutely tipping her over the edge and I believe that she's probably getting very, very sensory overwhelmed, very stressed, very anxious and I know she's very, very passionate about climate change and rightly so if that is what she chooses to do from coming to Sweden all the way to the US of A to talk to the House of Representatives, that's fine. I think what she's doing is up to her, it's personal perspective, personal opinion. I appreciate that from her side of things, but when you start saying that you're an inspiration to people and when you start getting looked up upon as a big autism advocate and as a big autism campaigner like that, it's very dangerous because there's many, 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 many of us on the autistic spectrum doing things like this. It's just that we don't mention it because we don't want the praise. We're doing it because we're passionate and we want to get our own awareness out and our own life story out. And I think the problem is Greta is making a name for autism, but in a bad way. She's not representing the whole of the spectrum. She's representing herself and she's representing her beliefs, her values, her freedoms. Whereas that's not all of us. We don't all want to talk about climate change or science or math or anything of that agenda. I'm very opposite from Greta. I don't really care about climate change. I don't, in all honesty. I don't really understand it. I'm very, very for autism awareness. Yes, bring it on. If she wants to campaign for Asperger's and autism, great. I will back her. But doing this in the political sense isn't helping anybody. It isn't helping herself. She's making herself extremely vulnerable. And as someone on the spectrum myself in the UK, she doesn't speak for me. She speaks for maybe a minority of autistic people on the spectrum, and that's good if that's what she wants to do, but she has to be very, very careful when she starts saying that she speaks for all autistic people because, no, she doesn't. A lot of the UK people will say that. We speak for ourselves. We have a lot of different issues going over here in the UK right now, and for her to say that she wants to do this and do that and a lot of autistic people are saying oh she's an inspiration she's changed the autistic community no she hasn't not really because a lot of people were making change before she came along there's a lot more people who have done incredible things like my friend kevin healy and people who else i know like the aspie world and katie from invisible eye my friend connor ward says francis 
other autistic YouTubers that I watch all the time. These guys have made an incredible change. These guys have been in the forefront of autism. They've sat there and seen everything. They've done everything. They've educated people about dangerous autism cures that have been peddled online. Like, Greta is just one of many, many autism advocates and campaigners and speakers out there who are autistic. She is not this big inspiration, big I am person. Not to be disrespectful to her, well done for what she's doing. I think she's got guts, it's brave. If she chooses to do that in that arena and chooses to challenge people in that high percentage and high place like that. But remember, we all different. Everyone on the spectrum has their own needs and wants and interests and hobbies. And we're not all about climate change, science. We're not all about wanting to talk to politicians and all that kind of stuff. We do our own lives every day and she does not speak for me. Greta Thunberg will never speak for me. I'm my own autistic advocate. I'm my own autistic campaigner. I help speak for my community when they need me. But I will not let someone else on the spectrum dictate what can and can't be done as someone on the spectrum myself. So, yeah, that's my views on Greta Thunberg. I will attach the article in the video description. So please like, comment, share and subscribe for more content. Until next time, bye.